Jared Gucci here, Mr. Internet Tips. All right, I am going to teach everybody here how to install the new Facebook comments plugin on their WordPress website or blog. And I'm gonna to try to make this as painless as possible, but if you do happen to get lost in this video, there are five steps directly below this video with images and walkthroughs that can actually make it a lot simpler to, to follow through. So let's get started here. And actually, before I get started, I do want to have a big shout out to Dylan Rhodes and Me Too on Facebook because they were part of figuring this out. And uh, uh, I just want to thank them. OK, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Facebook.com forward slash developers forward slash apps dot PHP because you're going to need to set up an application to get an application ID. Once you get there, you'll see a button here that says set up new app. You simply want to click on that you're going to go through the steps of creating your new app and they're very simple it takes about five minutes okay so there, there's lots of fields in here that Facebook is asking you to fill out you do not have to fill out all of them in the application name you can do description icon logo and contact email that's all you need to fill out in the about section in the website section, you do need to put the site URL of the website that you're putting this plugin on, and then the domain also of the website that you're putting this plugin on. And then after you set it up, you want to hit Save Changes. I actually already created the app. And then once you hit Save Changes, you're going to get a screen that looks like this, and there is your app ID. We're going to copy that, and I'm just going to paste it here in Notepad because we're going to come back and use that shortly. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to log into the administrative area in our WordPress website and we're going to go into appearance and then editor and we're going to want to go into the header file. Once we're in the header file, we are going to paste some code in here directly above the closing head tag which is this right here. And this is the code. And again, this is below in the description of this video, so you can grab that. And there's a section in here where you're actually going to put your application ID. So we grab that from wherever we pasted it, and then we throw that in there. Already have it here. We update the file. And then the next file we need to go in and edit is the single post or the single.php file. And for the purpose of this video, I'm actually inserting the comments plugin in the blog post area of a website. You can put it on any place you want in your website, but for the purpose of this video, we're actually inserting it into the comments area of a blog post. So we're going to go into single post and you want to insert the code directly above the comments call. Actually here I've moved it up a bit for a better placement on the website, but you can see here div ID comments and then there is the PHP code to call for the comments. So you could insert your code right there. You can actually play around with different spots inside of this file as to where you want to insert that plugin. And you would simply update, you'd go back to the website, you'd refresh, see where you like it. Uh, also, I've actually included an H3 tag to say, leave us a Facebook comment, and then the plugin is directly below that. And there is a section in here also for your application ID and you wanna make sure that's in there. Once you've inserted that code into the file, of course, you're gonna hit update file. And then all you gotta to do to check it out to make sure that it's displaying properly is go into your website, go into one of the blogs. I'll just go into the post. And then there you can see our new comments plugin in there and again you can play around and and move that code throughout that file until you get the placement that you want and then once you have that there are some options here and if you've set it up correctly you will have these options and the big one is settings here these are your administrative settings 
You can add moderators. So if you want some other people to actually moderate comments, you can add them here. And these are going to be based on your Facebook friends. You can make all the comments public immediately, or you can have them moderated, which means you would have to approve them before they're visible. You can uh, blacklist some words. You can automatically correct common grammar mistakes, but you, there's some settings in here that you can go through and you can set up based on what you want. And then the other really cool thing about this new comments plugin is that people can come to your blog and or website and they can comment as a page that they are an administrator of on Facebook. So instead of being Jared Gucci and commenting here, I can comment as OC Weinmart or my business, uh, Dynasty Web Solutions, if I can find it in this list somewhere. But you can actually change who you are in the comment structure. And what another thing that's really cool about this is it has nested comments. So as somebody replies, you can go in and either like their reply or reply to just that reply instead of replying to the entire comment stream. There's one last thing I want to show you that can be really helpful, and that's called the Facebook URL linter. And this is a tool that will actually tell you if you've set everything up correctly. So once you've gone through the five steps below this video and it's still not working for you and you still don't see all the things that I've gone over, you simply want to take the URL where you've put that plugin, go into the URL linter on Facebook, and I do have that link below in this video, and you're just going to paste that there and you're going to hit lint and it will run a report and it will tell you if everything is set up correctly. In this case, everything is set up correctly. But if it wasn't, it'll actually diagnose where you need to go in and make some adjustments. So I hope that this video was helpful. I can tell you that it took me quite a few hours to actually figure out this plugin and I just wanted to create this for you so you didn't have to go through the same trials and tribulations that I had and again an another big shout out to Dylan Rhodes, Me Too Signal and Corey Shanes for really helping me pull this plugin together and work out all the glitches that were driving me nuts. Okay if you have any questions please comment below and please look through the five steps because if you did get lost to this video it will really clear things up for you. Thank you.